vision. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex and, and welcome everybody to my survival series of The Walking Dead. Now, I've done this. This is basically my first ever series of The Walking Dead, if you guys haven't known already. So, uh, I'm bringing it back. Um, I have brought it back in the past and for some reason I just haven't stuck with it because the server was so much fun to play on. And um, I think that's just a wrong thing to do. I should have played both of them. So that's why I'm actually bringing it back. And a lot of you on here who are just old subscribers of The Walking Dead and just came back here to watch this series. Uh, this is something that you guys are going to really enjoy. And I think you guys are going to just have a blast watching this and the server. Now, I've done this in the past where I actually did both. I did the Survival uh, Walking Dead and also the Server Walking Dead. And a lot of people like that combination because they got to see kind of more in the mod uh, when I did it solo instead of having to do the server. The server is more of just having fun and kind of just surviving with other multiplayer. And it's really not really exposing the mod as much as it could be. But yes, you can see the guns and everything. But when I feel like in a survival like Let's Play like this one, you actually get to see the mod in use. And it's absolutely really amazing, and I actually really love um, doing the Survival Let's Play. And I just got back on the uh, world in such a long time, actually. I haven't played this on this world in about months from now. And uh, it's really cool. I just checked out the place again. Everything seems to be the same, and I got some cool plans. First of all, as you guys see, there's a lot of chickens here. We got one, two, three, four. But obviously, we need to get ourselves some more chickens. Uh, we're going to get grab these eggs here if there's any more. And uh, I believe that we're going to breed the chickens eventually as well uh, if we have some wheat and stuff like that. But look at guys. This is my little, uh, basically right now, it's a little fort, I guess, that I had from episode one. Um, I'll show you guys on the top view so you guys can see and also if you guys can hit that like button That would be amazing because if we can bring this back this series and make it like really special again I think that would be awesome, you know having the server and the survival let's play I think a lot of you guys would really really enjoy that so oh, don't look over there guys Well, it's already seen but look at this guys so over here I did this in one of the live streams. I only got to do this little base here, and I never really got to finish it. And that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode of The Walking Dead Survival Let's Play. So we're actually going to build it. We're going to finish the roof. Maybe we're just going to make it flat because there's no really peaked roofs here. Everything is just flat. So I think that's going to be the design approach. And I just expanded the base. It's really cool, and I can't wait to get involved in that. So as you guys can see, this whole entire fence uh, surrounding it was built by me during every episode I did of the series. And it was just absolutely so much fun. I think there's a walker coming. Sometimes they spawn in here, guys. Uh, I can't really keep them away because it's such a big uh, little, I guess, base I built. It's not really little, but it's pretty big. And as you can see down there, that's the prison I built. We're going to go check it out right about now so you guys get an idea of what this series is all about. Uh, down here in this basement, I have a farm that is just completely garbage. Uh, so that's why we're going to have to be taking it out and we're going to be removing it probably in the next episode. Uh, and we'll find out where we're gonna be doing that, but for now, uh, we're gonna go and I want to show you guys the prison because it's absolutely amazing. I built it. I love it. It's just so much fun to play on uh, and show you guys how cool that prison looks. And uh, I had in mind to have ourselves basically a um, kind of zombies in there, walkers inside the jail cells, but for some reason they despawn. And it's just normal, I guess. There's a lot of walkers in here. All right, so again, these guys spawned here. Uh, this place was absolutely safe. This guy got stuck in here. See, there's no way that he could have um, got in there. So let's take this down. Hopefully he doesn't break the door. All right, there we go. Let's take him out. All right, cool. So this this walker just dropped us a lot of water balls, which we do need. Uh, but I do have canteens, which is what we need. So as you guys can see over here, this is the prison. Um, in here, I actually built this whole entire little layer of jail cells. And this one looks like it's not complete yet, but we will finish it and stuff like that. So as you can see, you go inside here. I have a little table and a little bed of uh, slab stone because zombies don't need to sleep on a bed, you know? Like, I don't think uh, they need the best comfort <laughs> again. And also, this is the top. This is my tree farm, which I will be most likely moving down over there once we expand everything. So it's really good. It's coming along awesome. Uh, we got all these other types of abandoned buildings. 
and it's really cool. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing this series. I'm bringing it back. I really have a high hope for this. So honestly, guys, your uh, feedback on this series would shock me if you guys can just leave 100 likes or, or something that's going to show me that you guys want this back. And this room over here is a gun room. So it's kind of in the prison. I was thinking of having like a gun room. So at the moment, I don't have any guns. So I might take one for the safety of our uh, well-being. So let's see if we have any ammo in this. Can I reload? No, I don't. Is this an ammo for Scar? No, it's not. Um, all right, so we actually don't have any ammo for any of these guns. So let me see if this actually has any ammo. Uh, no, it does not. All right, so basically we don't have any ammo for guns at the moment. But again, we'll eventually get ourselves some guns and stuff like that so we can fight off these people. And here I do have some more things, some more valuables. I will take the chicken eggs, actually, so we can go make some more. We got eight, so hopefully we can get one of them out of there. We'll get the... Um, the wheat and the tree farm will do eventually later, but I will take these iron bars. So let's get into- oh wait, do I have anything cooking in the furnace? I don't remember. No, I do not, but I do have coal, which we will need. So let's get into this area because we're gonna have to go over there. I don't even think I have a bed, that's the issue. So I have to go find some wool, and as you guys can see, these people spawn right along the edges. So I, I can push them off, there we go. Okay, cool. So let's go back in here. Oh, there's more of them as well here. More water bottles. I will take it, actually, because we are kind of low sometimes on water bottles. So if we need to travel somewhere, I can take it. Do we have any wool? No, we do not. I don't need any of this rotten flesh, to be honest. So I'm going to take that all out just for the water bottle. There we go. Cool. So let's go inside our little base. Um, and I wonder if we can actually... I just never knew how this tent works. I wish we can sleep in it and use it as a bed. That would be kind of cool. So we got some ammo in here, but it's all negative value. There's really nothing else here. Just an M1, but we don't even have that type of gun. So I'm just checking around. We got more wheat, which we're going to need. Some more iron. We got to make a new pickaxe. Um, some more tools. Yeah, everything seems to be really dead. Do we have an, even a crafting table in here? Yeah, we do. Okay, good. I'll take that with me for the other place. And do we have any stone? I kind of want to get some more stone on I me. Mean, we only have 20 and 32 of the smooth stone. Oh, you know what? That's fine enough. Do we have any glass? I'll take a bandage, first of all, because we might lose some blood when we're in the process of fighting off these walkers. And this is an ammo DMR clip. We don't have any of that at all, but we do have some good gear here. As you can see, we're kind of doing okay. It's pretty cool. So this is the main entrance. First of all, I want to show you guys so you guys have an idea of what I'm talking about. This is like the main exit point. Like, we exit out, exit in. So it's really cool. It's going to work out awesome. I really love this series. And if you guys can honestly show me your support on this, you guys are going to see a lot of The Walking Dead. It's going to be awesome. What happened to my... Oh, the chicken's over there. All right, so there's more eggs. Let's go. Uh, just hopefully we can go breed some more. And uh, I don't even think you can breed chickens. So I think we're just going to collect the eggs and plant as many... I throw them on the ground as much as possible. And hopefully we'll get ourselves a uh, chicken, another one. We have 12. So this at least should give us a couple. So let's see if it works. Come on. Give us a ch Yes, first try right there. That's us. GG right there. Um, all right, come on. One more. Come on. Give it to us. All right, let's shoot in this area. No. At least we got one. Honestly, that's good enough for me. Uh, the rain's kicking in. I will take that off right away. Uh, there we go. I will take that off as I promised. All right, so I guess we only got one chicken, so that's a little bit more. It's good. So for now, yeah, we can't even breed them. I wish we could breed chickens. I mean, that would be kind of cool, but obviously we have eggs, so that makes more sense. Uh, but, okay, it's pretty cool. We got our chickens ready and going, so let's get ourselves back to that area where I want to show you. I want to get at least like 20 chickens so I'm comfortable about slaughtering them or killing them. I don't know. There's no really good term of putting this, you know. No nice way of saying we're going to kill them. I'm sorry, guys, but we need your food. Wheat is not going to do enough for us. We're going to need some more. So this is the newly uh, added area of our little base right now. So it's super cool. As you can see, walkers are still getting in here. But it's really small, but my plan is to just expand it over time, and I think that's a good idea. So let's actually get ourselves the crafting table placed down here. And let's start getting ourselves going to work and hopefully finish this place up. Let's get some more food. And the thing that's annoying me is that I don't have, like, it's annoying because the bread doesn't stack up like it usually does when you guys are playing, like, normal survival let's play. I have no idea why that's that, but um, hopefully they fix it. I feel like there's some guy behind me. No, it's not. Okay. So let's finish up the roof. Um, this looks obviously a little bit ugly. It's not really what I planned out to do. Hopefully we can actually get some wood and do some cool design because everything around here seems like it's all stone except that. That's like a lot of iron. First of all, that's all iron. So if you guys are like, why aren't you using that iron? I will be using it, but I need to make sure I have enough resources so that I can do that. So right now, um, we do have some trees over there on our farm. So we could go get some. 
and do some cool little designs here and hopefully make it look somewhat better. We do need some sand, but for now, because I don't want to waste any time, I'm just going to use barbed wire around here and just kind of keep it safe from any type of walkers that want to get in here. So that's kind of complete. We also need to do the floor. I think I do have some iron on me, but I do not have any sticks. So let's go get some wood, actually. We kind of need some wood. But this place is turning out good. As you guys can see, walkers do spawn. I can't do anything about that. If I could, uh, I definitely would, but I can't, which really does bother me once in a while. But it's okay, because it gives me XP. Oh, God. Watch out there. Oh, God. All right, we're safe. We're safe. Don't worry. Uh, I'm pretty much a pro after playing in the survive or in the server series, so... Oh, we did lose our weapon, too. Oh, that's not good. We should make ourselves a, uh, an iron sword as well. I believe I have some more iron stacked up in here. Maybe should have them somewhere. Oh, we do have four more chicken eggs. We will use those. Uh, do I not have any more iron? No, we do not. So I will actually have to... Oh, no, there we go. Perfect. We have 19 now. So let's make ourselves... Do we have any wood in here? Please tell me we do. Um, looks like we don't... Oh, yes, we do. We have four sticks. All right, perfect. So we can make ourselves a... For now, I want to make myself a weapon. Because I feel like that's going to be really important for us to get out of this place and stay safe. Not out of it, but just to protect ourselves a little bit more. And we do need ourselves a um, an axe. But for now, I'm just going to use the normal. So we're just going to do a shovel, iron shovel. And we're going to get ourselves a some more wood right now. So let's go get to that area right now. And get that part done. So we can go continue. Uh, hopefully the chickens continue laying more eggs so we can just get some more chickens up in there. And hopefully we'll get at least 20 of them so we can really start breeding them and doing some good work. Not breeding them, but like really getting some proper food out of there. So I believe I had some more. Okay, we have some more spruce in here. So let's go plant that. That's the only wood I do have, sadly enough, at the moment. But I can't really do anything about it. So uh, let's get ourselves some wood. I don't have any axe on me. Uh, no axes, so we're gonna have to go solo right now, go with our hands like Batman and do this the, just the hard way, I guess. I don't know. Until I get some sticks and I can actually get ourselves a... Uh, we need to drop a... Let's see what we don't need over here. I'm gonna have to sacrifice one of the waters. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do that for the greater good right now. So let's go place it there. The, it's really annoying me how the bread don't stack, so... Uh, if I have a backpack, I might just store it in there and use my space wisely. That would be pretty good. So let's make ourselves a crafting table. Actually, I'm not going to do that because we do have one down below. So let me grab, let me just lose one more of these and actually convert that. So we have 20 at the moment. Let me go down to our crafting table and craft ourselves um, a axe so we can actually use it to cut down these trees a little bit faster. Perfect. So let's do, oh God. Okay. Let's do that and use our iron. Thank God we have some iron because it just speeds up everything. The process is a lot faster, and it's always a good thing. So let's go and actually drop some of these things off too. So we don't need any of these right now, but I do want to get that compass. I always keep a compass on me because it's easier to navigate around here just to keep an eye on everything, so it's pretty cool. Some more water. We can take them now. And this tree, we're going to let it fall down, and hopefully we can get some more wood from this tree. And then we're going to have to plant them back out, and then go back to our little base over there, and finish that little section off. Now, if you guys in the comment sections could let me know what you guys want to see in that place. Like, what is the um, type of building? Like, what do you want it to be used for? That's kind of my question. So, the majority of the people who say this similar thing will be the people who get that, I guess, choice. The wing choice. So, it's your choice, basically, what you guys want that to be. It could be a farm that we could expand. Or it could be something else that you guys can choose that I don't I didn't think of yet. So I think that'll be pretty useful. Okay, good. We got some more saplings, uh, more over here. We gotta collect as many as possible because I don't. There's not really. If you guys can look yourselves, there's not really many trees in this area, and it kind of makes sense because a post-apocalyptic world. Um, maybe things just went crazy and there's no more trees. So yeah, this is an area where there's really no trees. So that's kind of why I'm lucky that we got a few saplings out of these trees. We got four, so we can now save a couple more. So I'm actually going to put one right about here. I'm just going to take this one down quickly and then plant it. And we're off to back to our duty. And we're going to go do and finish our work. Oh, the rain is really annoying right now. Uh, dash. Can we not do it? Dash. Oh, I can't. Okay, there we go. All right, cool. Um, the only reason I just don't, I just do not like the rain at all whatsoever. So it, the rain, main reason is because it just really screws up the audio. I just don't like it. It just bothers me. It's loud. It's annoying. So hopefully these trees grow back so we can get some more wood. How much do we have at right now total? We have 24. 
Uh, hopefully, I think we did have a few more in here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 50. Alright, perfect. So we're good to go and finish that little base of ours that we do need. And again, you guys are the ones to decide what's going to be built in there, what we're going to do. I think a farm would make sense um, just to have some chickens. The chickens will stay here, obviously, and we got some more eggs too. Uh, the chickens will stay here, but I get we can maybe get some cows, maybe some pigs if we can find any around here. They're kind of scarce, but there are two pigs over there actually. And we do need carrots, so that's the only issue. So as you can see, my diamond is about to die out, so I don't want to use that. And we do need to make ourselves a pickaxe. Uh, we do need one of those as well. Oh, why did I make sticks? I just wasted two good. All right, so, oh, we left that. So we're going to have to go with a stone pickaxe for now. I left my iron over there. So we're going to have to take out all this ground here and make it into stone. So let's go do that for this area because I don't have much stone on me. And we might just use wood for the inside because we got to keep it looking a little bit good, you know. I feel like stone is just too cold for our design right now. So that's kind of why we're going to take all this cobble out of here. And we're going to replace it with some good wood. Make it a little charming. Now, this could be our little, like, capital. Like, our little bit of a a nice area just to keep quiet for me instead of staying so busy. Like, get away from the danger around here. Just go in here and have my own space to call home, basically. That's kind of maybe what we can do. So, let's get the inside done here. Alrighty. Hopefully, we can finish it off quickly so that we don't have to get killed if there's a walker coming from the back. Because they do spawn all over the place. And that kind of bothers me. But we will figure out a trap, maybe. We can maybe do some barbed wire around here. We should go and find out how to make barbed wire or see what I can do to get that working around here. So we do need some doors. Uh, so let's get ourselves a one door only. So that's all we need. And then I need to get the um, iron bars so we can plant them. Maybe, yeah, just one door here centered. And I kind of want to have iron bars going around it. But then I just don't want to ruin the design of it. So we can do maybe some smooth stone, maybe. I don't know. Let's just see what we can do around here like this. And then we can just put some normal wood like that. That doesn't look too bad. That does look bad, actually. <laughs> um, let's just... Ooh, I thought I heard someone coming from our back. Let's just do that, and then the bottom is fine like this. Let's just... That's good enough for me, to be honest. It looks fine. No, it does not. It really doesn't. Okay, now it's bothering me a lot. So we're just going to make, it. I think, iron bars. Maybe, maybe for just the better for now, just to keep everything looking similar to how it is. So that's pretty good, actually. It's going to keep us a little bit open. Again, I really don't know what I'm going to turn this room into. So if you guys can actually leave a comment down below and let me know what I should turn this room into, uh, that would be great because I want to get some more um, efficiency done with the farm because as you guys can see, there's really nothing going well down there. There's really no light. It's really small, and it's kind of hard to move around because there's no really space for us to move around as much as I would like. So that's kind of an issue. So let's see, how much stone do we have? I don't know if we have enough to finish this area up. If we do, that would be great. If not, it's not the end of the world. We'll just have to mix up some smooth sand, or uh, some, some smooth stone, actually. So, uh, it's okay. It's Anyways, a post-apocalypse, nothing's supposed to look amazing. Oh my god. Oh, we have to mix up some dirt, too. Oh, that's just a little bit weird, but... Alright, it's, it's a work of progress, guys. Don't, don't pick at me yet. It's actually gonna be fine. It's gonna be cool when we expand into this direction, because... We have some more land that is actually pretty good to expand in that direction. So we will do that in the next episode, most likely. And I did do some scavenging around here. Let's go see if we can get some more chickens out here. And uh, I think that will be pretty good to finish off this episode of the survival series of The Walking Dead, which is awesome. I love it a lot. We have the four eggs over here. And I believe we have a few more that these chickens laid here. Perfect. All right. That's great. Um, we have eight again, so hopefully we can get another one. Uh, come on, let's see. Let's get one more. Oh, we didn't get one. Alright, well, it's okay. Um, it's fine. At least we got one, two, three, four, five. Five chickens. Um, I'd rather... We need a lot more, as you guys can already tell. So, that's kind of an issue. We gotta drink some water. Our hydration is a little bit low. I did notice that. And we gotta get, like, a deposit area. Maybe, like, so we can store our junk. Um, because we do have a lot of junk after these water bottles just sit here and do nothing. So, I think we're pretty good at this water level. Yeah, that should be fine. Alright, cool. So, let's go see if any of the trees grew. They're not growing, but we can go finish off planting them. And I think this has been a very successful episode because what we did today was we actually kind of covered the base, you know, checked out the perimeter, showed you guys what it's all about, and we actually did finish up that little corner room over there that you guys are going to decide what it's going to become, you know what I mean? So it's going to be cool. So we did lose. Oh, yes, we got one more sapling. Oh, another one too. Sweet. All right, so let's get three of them now, and hopefully we can plant some more up here. How about one over there? And that's good enough. Yeah, that's kind of the thing that sucks around here. If only we can get some more dirt and place some more trees. 
Um, I don't have enough space for that, so... Oh, I should have moved this back one more so we could have two, but it's okay. We're actually going to have to do and build our own little tree farm area over time. It's going to be amazing. This series is going to be awesome. It's kind of just having survival Let's Play on top of kind of like a little bit of modded and just something that you guys really enjoy on my channel because a lot of you guys do enjoy, uh, as you guys said, The Walking Dead on my channel, and I do appreciate that so much, guys. Your support is amazing. I love it a lot. But if you guys can actually go check out other of my videos, like the um, survival games, like I love that a lot, and I love um, playing it. It's just a fun thing. I want to have some more support on it. So if you guys can do that for all my videos, um, that would mean the world to me, guys. It really would. So I'm just gonna finish up making the farm here. Today's kind of been like a, I guess a coming back from vacation type of day. I don't know how to explain it in terms, but I believe I did have a lot of seeds down at the prison. So we should go over there right away. And actually grab those seeds so we can just make up this little farm just to get some more food because as you guys can see I'm kind of running low on good saturation type of foods I could, I could use rotten flesh but that's not good enough for me I need some real good food so we have 32 in here we're gonna take some of the bread and some of the iron that I left over there all right cool so let's go back out of here all right cool let's go back and hopefully the food doesn't die out so we don't lose sprint and we're going to finish up the bottom of the farm, and then we're going to call this an episode, guys. If you guys have been through this video this far, if you guys came up to this point, uh, say hashtag. Okay, listen to this. I'm going to type it up in the chat just about now so you guys can see. Oh, there's more walkers here. All right, don't bother my chickens, all right? They just want to rest in peace over there. All right, you guys are going to do hashtag survival walking survival walking hashtag survival walking so i know it's a little bit weird the hashtag but it works guys i just came up with it deal with it um oh we gotta do eat some food actually so let's eat that right now and then we're gonna plant ourselves our seeds and we should be fairly successful and i think that's good enough as you guys can see like it's just not a good space down here it just doesn't work for me it's just that's why we gotta move on and build a new layer of ours for food because we gotta get our own food here this is just not enough and, oh, see, there's some areas that just don't work. For example, I believe that one is actually fine right now. That's actually pretty decent. And plant those. Plant this side. All right, sweet. And I know you, you can actually walk on these. See, some of them don't even plant. Um, it's a little bit weird, like those over there. It's just a weird farm that's just messed up and doesn't work as properly as I expected it to. This down here is just, it's just a blown up area, which I wish I didn't fall down. So let's build our way back up and get out of here. Actually, we should fill this up. Yeah, we're gonna fill this up. It looks really weird when it's just an open gap like that. Perfect. So now we have some little space here to put a chest for our wheat. And hopefully we gotta get some more torches up in here. So yeah, it's a lot of progress. This farm needs a lot of work. It's just really not even close to being done. We're gonna have to move the water source down there maybe. So we get some more space. You know, who knows? Maybe we might keep it, may not keep it. So if you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of the Walking Dead Survival Series... Um, make sure you guys hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think about this. Would you guys like survival and on top of that having the server series as well? Because I feel like that would give us a lot more. Wow, three eggs. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Maybe we'll get one more. Hopefully, we'll finish off with a good bang over here. Let's see. Bam, bam, bam. No, we didn't. All right. Well, that's okay. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And also, uh, give me a proper comment about what you guys think about this series on top of this server series. And would you guys like to see both as well. And I uh, promise you guys more daily uploads. Thank you guys so much for your support on The Walking Dead. I do appreciate it. I didn't actually show you guys down here. This is the area. And uh, yeah, peace out guys. Stay foxy. And I'll see you guys next time on another video.